So welcome to day number 10 and we're gonna solve this question today and I hope the last question we have solved you have no issues there if you have please comment down and one thing I'm skipping few of the questions for you to do it right but if you find difficulty to solve that then please uh, just go to the problem just copy the problem statement and comment down in any any of my video and then for sure in some future episodes I will explain the answer for those one i got one request but i'm unable to identify which one exactly so that's why please comment down with the exact problem statement so today we need to build a adder and adder is a very much and it's a too much important digital circuits you can make a mini project out of this very low code actually like you can write the very low code in of a adder then you can do the synthesize using a very log simulator to the gate level then you can go up to the layout level and then you can compare the both the result it could be a full stack vlsi mini project so that's why keep, give most important to this problem but yeah this problem is not done fully here because if we're gonna do full problem of error one it will take a huge time not huge time but a more time than doing this one because here many things are already defined for example here this module uh, okay, let me go in little, little more detail actually see what they are trying to do. Uh, let us do here. They have given us a 16 bit edition, but a 16 bit edition need to be built from a one bit edition first, right? So that's why I'm telling you it's a, not a full problem. They are our main objective is to learn a very log, not the digital electronics. But for a mini VLSI project, you need to do everything from scratch. You need to first build a full adder circuit full adder circuit and your full adder circuit what it do it just do the addition of three bits one would be your carry in and another two would be your a and b and you can insert it and you can get two output one would be your sum and another would be your carry out so that's a full adder but here here what they are giving here they are giving a ready-made module of add 16 which can add 16 bit a full letter can add only one bit but here is 16 bits so probably we need to use 16 full letter circuits to build one 16 bit adder but don't worry in our next problem actually in this problem adder 2 we will build that module also like module of uh, module of full adder so don't worry but here for abstraction level one level up they are giving us add 16 module but they want us to make like two add 16 module we need to take and the final result should be able to do 32 bit addition and 32 bits additions or currently 64 bits additions are very important because our processor are on 64 bits right so that's why i said it's a very important question like as a for a beginner it's a really very important question so try it on your own pause this video try it out right and then if you can't or if you got the result now you compare with me how i will approach this problem so here they have given us this diagram here this is your diagram uh, so from this diagram we can for sure in one second only we can deduce that we need to write a definition or a design for this top module and inside this top module we have two full adder whose definition are already given we don't need to write that means first step would be instantiate them into your top module so we'll just go down and and here is your top module so top module will have a and b which would be your 16 bits a and b and then the sum so sum is your output bit so we'll give 16 bit input two input we need to do the addition and get the output as sum but before that let us instantiate uh, what two 16 bits so what's the name of 16 bits it's add 16 so we'll write here add 16 and then a unique identifier so we'll write add one and then the connections so we'll define connection later and we'll write add 16 let me do the second initiation add two and the connections so now what are the connection what are the ports available to us here so here we have ports one two three ports or you can see from here also we have three ports not three ports actually we have five ports available why five ports are available because how this adder will work this is your 16 bit adder um, 16 bits adder right so in 16 bit adder you will give a and b but you also need to give it the carry in why i'll come to that later and then as a output you need 
you will get a sum and a carry now what does carry mean probably you know but for those who are getting confused carry let me refresh it if you want to edit two number like this this three bits number so if you add this three bits number how we do actually here for editing this three bits number we need to have three full letter so first full adder will do addition between these two so uh, let me make one thing let's uh, let's do some modification let me do it as one one zero one okay one zero one so first full adder will do addition between these two so one and one in the binary if you add what you will get it you will get one zero so zero will come here and the remaining one will come here right here as a carry so let me write it in the below it's your carry now the second full adder will do addition between these three and that's why I said one full bit adder, one bit full bit adder need to able to do addition between three bits. So then it will do addition between these two. So one zero one. So what's there? One and zero will give me one and then one and one will give me one zero again. So again we'll get a zero here and the carry will again come here. So what you are doing? You are giving two result actually one is your sum sum is zero and one is your carry out which is coming here so that's why here we have two output and the input we need to have three input because from the last stage we are getting a carry we need to ac accept it right so that's why so here we have three bits so three one will give you result as one 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 so one will come here and the rest one will come as overflow so if our output is of three bit then we'll only get this as result one will become a overflow and in our circuit we do many things so that we don't get a overflow right like we, we will actually store it in a four bit result but today's video have no scope to make you understand those things we will concentrate on what we need to do here and that's why the 16 bits module need to have uh, two input and a one c in because what is happening here again you will have 32 bits dot 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 32 bits and you want to edit with some other another 32 bit dot 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 31 bit first 16 addition will be done by one of the instance and the second addition will be done by another instance right but whenever you are transitioning from this instance to that instance you might get a overflow one or overflow carry and to accept that one you need to have this as C in as your input so that's why we have three input these two are of 16 bits your carry out for sure will be of one bit so that's why it's defined in C in and then the output should be of 16 for 16 addition and then the C out again C out is one bit so now in this question you will also use the concepts of vector part select which we, we already have learned right so let us let me define for a add one so add one will do addition for the lowest most 16 digit first module here this is your first adder so first adder will accept the lowest most 16 bits so you will get as a user you will give them 32 a equal to 32 bits b equal to 32 bits but you will connect only the first or the lowest 16 bits to this connection these two input connection a and b I'll write A and part select. I hope you already know how to do the part select 15 colon 0 and then comma and I'm doing something wrong. Just identify what wrong I am doing here. Have you got it? Yeah, the wrong thing is what I am doing. We have two method to uh, connect the port. One is by position and is by name. Uh, actually, I'm not doing any wrong. I am doing it by order here, right? Because our add one, if I go to the definition of our add one, then in the definition of add one, you can see first two is your input only. And that's what I am doing here. I'm giving input only. But as I said, we will always try to do it by name. So dot A and then the braces and uh, then this. And another thing, you can't match two of the method. Like uh, here, this is the wrong thing. First one is by name I am trying and then I, by position I am trying. You can't do it. If you start with by names, then you need to continue with by name. Now, for the lowest most 16 bit, will we get any C in from the outside world? No, C in is not there. Just to give you uh, again a clear picture, if we try to add this to 3 bit number, then for adding this one, do you need any help from a C in? No, now we don't have any carry. So likewise, whenever you are adding the lowest most 
16 bits of your input for sure there won't be any scene so what we'll do we will keep scene as floating and that's allowed it's a not an issue so that's why scene i'll keep it floating and that's why by order we can't use here because by if i go for by order i need to give something here so that's why i'm using by name so scene is floating and then i need to get the sum so i'll write sum and sum will go to see this sum is going to this sum this sum would be of 16 bits but this 16 bits will be the lowest most 16 bits of your answer of your output which is the sum of the top module this is my sum of the top module so i'll part select this one so i'll write here sum and then part select 15 clause 0 okay now tell me another thing this c out is there right so this c out will it be 0 1 which, like it is a one bit only so it could take two value only zero or one so do you know what the number would be c out for sure we don't know it depend on the input right but there is always a probability or we can say 50 percent probability that for after editing the lowest 16 bit we'll have a carry out which will go to the next 16 bits so that's why this c out is important and from the diagram also we can see that this c out is getting connected to the scene of the second header so that's why what i'll do here i'll write comma and then c out i think hope its name is c out only yeah its name is c out so i'll write c out and c out will get connected to c in of your second instance and what the second instance we have here the second instance name is adder 2 so to get access of c in of second instance what we need to do we need to use a dot product so we'll write dot add 2 and in after that the c in i hope it will work i never tried this now uh, for the second one it's easy we'll write a and we will give input a and the next top one and then you we have a c in also so c in got connected to add to like uh, to the c out of our add one so we need, need to write it down so c c in so dot c in was got connected here from here you can see it how it got connected so we just need to reverse the direction so it will be dot add one and it is c out of that dot add one right and then comma and then we left with c out so now after adding the second part of 16 bit of that 32 bits you might have a c out the final result but in our question they have clearly written that you can ignore it here they have written c while uh, your module will perform 32 a plus b only so they don't need any c out as output okay so we will keep c out as floating no issue at all and we are getting some error i think uh, okay near comma okay. in line number six near comma we are expecting a uh, first like closing yeah that's the issue okay. so i'm not sure about this one i think this is creating some issue so for now let's just try some alternative way on what's the alternative way we know already and that is just name this wire to something so for now let us give a name uh, what uh, add one out add one add one carry that's making more sense okay and this uh, this is also not required because it's a where a simple where we will define it and here also it should go to add dot scene going to add one carry and then this place is closed here and this place is closed here and we need to define it here right so we'll write it where add and our add one carry would be how many bits? 8 bits? 31 bits? 1 bit only, right? Because it's a carry out. Now I think we should get a correct answer, but let's see. Mm, okay, number line number 8. Uh, comma, expecting what is happening there. Okay, we are missing these braces here. See, we are missing missing many braces. And this is little, like anytime you are doing, do it sincerely, not like me then you will get in one go only you'll get the answer and finally we got the success <laughs> we got so many errors there and i hope there is no need of any explanation for these things we got a mismatch zero so congratulations you have done a great job one of a very common problem in digital electronics and it is designing a header so you have done it great 
now our task is to design a adder 2 uh, in adder 2 as i said we'll go one more one hierarchy down because in our add one problem we are getting a 16 bits adder ready made but life is not so easy we need to make add 16 out of one full adder so here what they are telling you see this is your let me take the marker this is your add 16 which we are using in our last problem but this add 16 are made out out of 16 add 1 and add 1 are nothing but your full adder and now they haven't given us any any module definition for add 1 so in summary in this question for the first time we will be having three module we need to write all the definition of all those three module and then we need to get answer it's for me it's very interesting problem i'm finding it to solve it currently right now but but hold on we will solve it in our next 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 episodes and it's now time to give you the answer for our last episode questions and that's the question so what's the answer see it's very simple very simple actually anytime anytime you get this x this x mean don't care i don't know the what's exact value so if you get a x then you do any operation with this fellow your result will be of x only of that many bits so here we have four bits so answer is d you will get a result of x x x 4x i don't know the result so that's the logically uh, we can explain but that's how it's happening now the question for day 10 and that's here and i'll see you in our next class till then tata bye bye keep smiling